Hi, fourth graders, it's Miss Ha. And I'm here in my temporary dark space science lab with my tiny hands and my binoculars. I made these binoculars last year from toilet paper rolls. And some of you are with me in my elective, the ultimate nature walk, and I encourage everybody and anybody who has toilet paper rolls to make some binoculars. You take two rolls, staple them together, color them, and use them for your sense of vision. We use our eyes to observe all around. They give us a lot of information, our sight, what we see. I also use my sense of listening, tasting, touching to determine texture, and my sense of smell, which is called my olfactory sense. We talked about those using a concept map last week during science. And today we're going to talk about using those senses to observe. And there's a few other senses that we started to talk about, which include proprioception, that was balance, remember we talked about that, and interoceptive awareness, which is understanding and having a feeling about what's going on in your body. So when we practice closing our eyes and breathing, and some of you talk about feeling blood going to your brain or tingling in your toes. That's a type of interoceptive awareness and that's an observation you're making with the systems in your body, which is actually really important because that gives you a lot of information about your health. Now I wanna talk to you about another science vocabulary word that's super important we're gonna use all year. We're gonna find different ways to record. And on Seesaw, you, re you record in different ways. Right now I'm recording a video. Right? Sometimes I record an audio message. Uh, sometimes we record a message to you by typing. But today I'm gonna record my scientific observations using my good old handy dandy notebook. I wanna practice having a notebook. Sometimes it's really nice to use pen and paper, especially when we're using a lot of technology and we're gonna practice that right now. So please get a pen or a pencil and your notebook. You can, get, you can press pause if you need to. I'm gonna label the heading scientific observations. And those are two pretty big words, so let's write them together slowly. S C I E N T I F I C scientific observations. O B S E R V A T I O N S. Today's date is September 14th, 2020. And I went on a nature walk this morning and I found this really cool plant structure. Structures are parts. And this plant structure, I'm gonna put right here so you can observe it with me. And I wanna record it in my notebook. So take a look, notice the shape, the length, the colors. And let's try recording it together. I'm using a pen, but I would probably recommend a pencil, but if you feel comfortable using a pen, that's fine. You just know when we make mistakes with a pen, we have to kind of improvise and turn it into something else because it's a little more permanent. If you know the names or can predict the names of these plant structures that you're observing, you could label them too. That is a way to clearly communicate to others. I also have these colored pencils that Ms. Pantos gave me. You can grab yours too. And remember, this is a video, so you can always press pause. It's kind of fun thinking about me doing this here and you doing this at home. And even though we're not in the classroom together, we are still learning together. You know, we're still having a moment together where you're listening or I'm listening or I'm imagining you doing this at your tables. I'm imagining that we're getting ready to share our work, which I love. All right, so I'll show you what I've done. It's not entirely done and it's not entirely perfect and that's okay. I've recorded scientific observations, that's my heading. I have the date, 
September 14th, 2020. And I have recorded my drawing and I labeled this the stem and this the, these are the berries. And inside of berries, maybe berries that you've eaten yourself, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and maybe you've noticed there are seeds inside and seeds are the plant structure that are required for new plants. When you plant a seed, you get a new plant. Thanks for watching fourth grade, bye!